Uh, hello everyone, if you want to install WordPress on your website in Hostinger, it is very easy. After you log in to your Hostinger account, go to websites and in the websites section you will have your websites which is uh, already installed. Here I would like to install WordPress on a new domain. I have already pointed my domain to Hostinger so click on add or migrate a website. Here you need to choose your option which you want to create a website from scratch or you want to migrate your existing website. So I would like to create it from scratch and I want to install WordPress on it. I click on create, I click on here and here there is two options. You can choose WordPress with EI and it can help you to install necessary plugins and themes according to your prompt and requirements. And if you want to do this all manually, you can click on skip. And let's click on skip. And now you need to enter your domain name. This is my domain name. After selecting your domain name, click on next. And now let's confirm the ownership of our domain. And there is a warning message at the top, domain status, which is not pointing. And it's a temporary message. Uh, although I have already pointed this to Hostinger, or maybe I have hosted this domain on Hostinger. I don't really remember. And let's wait for a few minutes. I've waited for a few minutes. Now let's refresh it. Yeah, I think it's completely done. Now let's check the domain if there's anything installed on it or not. Currently, we don't have anything installed on this domain. We just added our domain. So let's go to websites and WordPress and let's click on install. Now here you need to write your website title and set a username and a strong password. I click on next. This is the WordPress version which is automatically selected, the recommended one. Don't touch it and you can keep the settings as it is and install. And it will take three to five minutes to install WordPress. Let's go to dashboard and check our website. We have successfully installed WordPress on our domain. And now it's time to log into the backend. Go back to Hostinger and click on admin panel. As you can see, there is some plugins which is installed by Hostinger. You can delete it if you don't want. First deactivate the plugins. And now you can delete them. Okay, that's it for this short video tutorial. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more video tutorials. Forget to see awesome video tutorials.